Well, the only thing, uh, certainly what we did, my mother, she was a very smart woman and she was a seamstress. What was her and, name? Uh, Jane, or Alan, and, and she w had been an Alan from Ireland, Irish descent. But uh, people would come, and that was in depression now, and people would come, uh, a woman would come with an old coat belonging to her husband and wanted to cut over and made and, and to make a suit for one of the small boys or something like that. And she wouldn't have any money to, uh, to give mother, those people didn't, uh, but they give her a piece of meat, pork or something like that, you know, and things. And, and my mother got $20 for a widow, $20 every six months, and all of us children got $12.50 every six months, $12.50. So that was $25 a year was supposed to keep us. That was the, that was the pension or whatever? Yeah, that was the pension, yeah. That was the orphan, orphan pension. And the widow's pension was twenty dollars every six months. Yeah. So there was but they were they were great they were great managers, you know. And we we grew our own vegetables and things like that, and we didn't have any luxuries that sure. I bet you ate a lot of fish. A lot of fish, yeah. I still like fish today. You still do? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. what would you eat now? What kind of fish would it be caught? Was that the main? You see, the cod is the, is the only fish there is. You go to Newfoundland, probably now it might be different. And if you and if you ask someone, uh, what are you doing? You're going fishing, and it would be cod. But uh, for trout, you're troutin. You're troutin if you go to catch uh, catch trout. You're not fishing. And then certainly, if you're if you're going to to dig clams, you dig clams or something like that. Or, and then uh, lobsters, you catch lobsters, but you don't you don't uh, fish lobsters. You only fish cod. If you go and fi anyone fishes, is cod or haddie. Was there uh, a was there lobsters uh, when you were a young fellow where people catch lobsters? Uh, there was plenty of lobsters, but we never eat them. No one. We used to go down around the shore and get sticks. And poke the sticks in through the between the rocks and get the lobsters to grab a hold of the stick and just throw them up in the air, you know. But uh, there was plenty of lobsters, but now certainly is different. Well, when uh, you were a young fellow, people didn't eat lobster, you mean? Oh no, no one wouldn't eat lobsters, and we never eat clams. Uh, clams was cocks and hens. That was the name, and sometime in the in the summer. The shore fishermen, not those big bankers, the shore fishermen uh, would dig them by the barrel and use them for uh, bait for their cod lines. And the mussels, you'd never touch mussels or anything like that in those days. Even lobsters nowadays, I mean, the people pay five or six dollars a pound for them. Oh, yeah, more. I suppose probably in Newfoundland they're pretty high too. You know. But we didn't know enough to eat them then, I guess. Well, here on the island,
live with her, you know, she, and we all had a uh, fairly good uh, home. And, uh, and where did you wind up? What happened to you? Well, I went with, first of all, I went with uh, the people, uh, this couple, and they didn't have any family of their own then. And uh, probably, I might have been a bad actor, I don't know, probably it was pretty aggressive. And uh, she kicked me out. She kicked me out in in, uh, in November that year. And then, she, and I walked down to Crescent five miles away. And then this woman and man took me, if I'd go to sea, the only thing I could do was go to sea with him on the schooner. And they were very, very good to us. And... Uh, but you know, the first family that I w went with, and uh, and after I went to, after I went away uh, in the war years, and I got back in, uh, I never got back till yeah, I was back in 1943, just for overnight. I was after receiving a skull fracture and that in counteraction taken against the enemy. And um, certainly she, she and, and her husband, they were starting to have children. They wanted me to go, and I said, sure. So we went up and had my brother and I went and had dinner with them. And then after, certainly, and I was studied, and I finally got my certificates and that. And she had a better record of, of what I was doing and accomplishments than anyone else. And the last time uh, I seen her, she's dead now, and him. And the last time I seen her, she called me up, and uh, we had to go and visit her, and she had my picture um, as captain on the Confederation when I welcomed the, the one millionth uh, passenger aboard of that ship because I, I, I uh, took her out and on her... Uh, trials and, uh, and commissioned her in 1961, and those things happened, but... Uh, what was their name? There were Hardy, but they're both dead now, but they were good people, you know. I guess probably must have been my fault, I don't know. 